What up, it's your girl Minna, and today I want to share with you what I think is going to be the one and the only makeup brush that you need to do your face from start to finish. I've been trying to find this brush for such a long time, and then I even asked you all on IGTV, and then somebody commented, and I was like, what? And they mentioned this brand, Jessup, and I was like, excuse me? On Amazon? You know I'm all about Amazon. You know, like, Prime, come on, like, you're really, like, it, like quarantine, if you're like me, Amazon is always coming to your house. So such a problem. So I looked into Jessa Beauty and I saw some options and I found one that I like. I'm excited about it. I'm going to do a full face with these brushes and of course my sponge which is actually a five pack from Amazon also. Love these. Not very dense. Awesome. Amazing. I'm going to link the sponges and the brushes below in case you want to purchase any of them. This tutorial is not so much about the makeup. It's more about the tools, the brushes. I'll link the actual products below. I may or may not mention them if I remember. It depends. But I want to talk more about the brushes and how they work. So if you're excited, give the video a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe. Okay, so here's a box that they came in. It's a little dinged up. I don't know. That might have been me. I'm not sure. And it's got this cute sleeve on it. It came like this, but wrapped. There are 25 brushes in here and they're white and rose gold. Like, like it gets no better than that. I mean, if you're, I think everyone likes white and rose gold. Beautiful set of brushes. Again, like I said, I took everything off of it. Just so... Just really fluffy and just awesome. Like, feels so good. Right, like feels so good on the skin. Can't wait to use this for powder. Okay, so 25 pieces of brushes. You got face, you got eyes. And we gonna jump, ooh. I keep my, the brushes that I actually use in this thing right here and out of habit, I took it, but I don't need this per se. Okay, so let me move it so I don't get confused. Jump in with my lip primer, which is always a must. Elf Cosmetics Lip Primer. This is a lock-on lip primer. It's different from the other ones. Face Primer. Can always say primer or face primer. For the face primer, I'm gonna use this Milk Makeup Blur Setting Spray. Woo! Not setting spray, <laughs> priming spray. Hello. Cause it's just so easy to use. Ooh, that was really cold. I need foundation, duh. Clearly <laughs> skipped a few steps. Okay, I got my foundation. Like, what was that? Let's see. And I'm gonna tell you what brush I'm using in case you buy it so you know exactly what I'm using to do whatever I'm doing. Okay? Yep. All right. So, you know, I like to use a flat kabuki brush to apply my foundation. You can use your sponge. The sponge will soak up the product. I don't want to soak. I want to see the makeup on my face. I'm gonna use this brush. This is a 104 buffer brush. It's a flat kabuki buffer type brush. So, here we are. Yes. We are buffing it in. Now, this is not as, it's not as dense as the one. I have that I use but it's the same concept and it is working it's really soft what do you think so far <laughs> I like this this whole set is under $40 and that's a good deal for 25 brushes all right this is the point where I blend out my contour and I use the black radiant stick foundation in the color chocolate dipped now I normally will use this really dense brush from Mentic Cosmetics in this bundle situation the two brushes that I can identify that would work best are these the same okay one is a petite stippling brush one is a luxe paintbrush. I would say the paintbrush could do the job, but honestly and truly, it's too soft in comparison to what I normally use. So I'm gonna just use the back of the beauty sponge, which I have done in the past. Now, because I'm gonna use the back of beauty sponge and it's going to soak up some of the product, I'm gonna add more so that when it does soak it up, it doesn't take away everything. So back up the sponge and here we go. And there really is nothing wrong with doing it this way. We just, you know, we have our preferences. Comment below and let me know, do you normally use a sponge to blend out your contour or do you use a brush? So I would take the remainder off of whatever brush I use to blend this out and I would put it on the sides of my nose. But since I didn't do that, I'm gonna take this brush right here. This is the uh, Lux All Over Shader 2222 brush and take a little bit of product, not a lot. I don't want it to be too much. I'm going very lightly on the side of my nose. This works. Yes. And I wanted, I chose this thicker brush because I don't want the line to be too precise. Bring it into the brows, okay? So that's done. I'm going to set all my highlighted areas. I normally use my sponge. I normally use my damp, and this is very lightly dampened. I washed it this morning. I let it sit. It's just a little, like, there's nothing coming out of it, but it's still a little wet, okay? So that's, that's really the ideal dampness that you want for your sponge. Normally, I just take this and then pick up my products. So I'm going to do that. All right, now to dust off the powder, I'm going to use the 125 stippling brush, which everyone who does makeup needs a good old stippling brush. And the stippling brushes are more dense in the black part and loot like less loosely how do you say it more fine at the, the white part and gonna just use that to dust this off it smells like coconut i love this setting powder this loose setting powder so much love it 
It's very translucent, it's fine for black skin, doesn't leave me looking white. You'll see once I finish my face, it's awesome. Now, what I like to do, if you've watched many of my videos here on YouTube or on Instagram, you know that I like to do my face powder on my forehead, then I move down from my eyebrows all the way down to my lips. So right now is the time where I would do my face powder. And for this, I'm gonna use the CoverGirl Matte Ambition All Day Powder Foundation in the color Deep Cool 2. And I'm gonna take this brush, I love, this is Jessup 106 Powder Brush, so it is named appropriately. Sometimes they give it names and you're like, mm -mm, I'm gonna use that to do this, but this one's appropriate. So fluffy. Oof. Love, love this powder brush. So I'm just putting it over my forehead like I normally do. And then I'm gonna move on. I'm gonna do my eyebrows, prime my eyes, and then we're gonna go over the eyes and use these brushes and see what they do. Alrighty, so I will link one down below for you that you can grab on Amazon if you wanted to. So this is not included, but you do need that to do your makeup. Now I've had my Painterly Paint Pot, which is the matte uh, eyeshadow base that I love to use. I either use that or the one, there's a fly <laughs> outside, or the one from e.l.f. And then now we're gonna go with, with the eyes. So when it comes to eyes, let's see what we have. Let me move away the other face brushes. There are lots of other face brushes and I'll, I'll show you the ones that I don't end up using and then explain to you how you can use them for other looks, okay? So when it comes to the crease, we wanna blend in some eyeshadow to the crease. Maybe I can use this brush. This is a concealer buffer brush. All right, I'm not gonna use that concealer buff, buffer brush quite yet. Okay, this is a concealer buffer brush. You can use it for your concealer, of course. Now the thing about it is because of my eye shape and the fact that my crease area is very wide, I'm gonna use this brush because it's bigger. But if you have a small crease hooded eye, then you can use this Lux crease brush to go into your crease. Like I can, I'm, and I'm using this new Tarte palette that I got. I'm not sure if it's new, but it's new to me. Tarte Pro, Tartiest Pro palette. And this is the color Whimsy. So I'm going to show you, you can certainly go into Whimsy with this crease brush and you'd be good. But my crease area is a lot bigger and I want to just cover a lot of ground quickly. So that's why I'm going to use this concealer buffer brush instead to just cover a lot more ground faster. So you see that? Now, if you're like me, you're gonna end up having more brushes than you actually need. But so far, I am liking the fact that this is a good starter uh, brush pack, you know, like it'll get you started and on your way. So this to me is really good right now for anybody who just doesn't know where to begin and what brushes to use. So this again is the Lux Crease Brush and I'm still using Whimsy from this palette. All right. And now I want to build up the crease a little bit. So you really, I really could use this, but let me wait. I'm going to build up the crease a little bit and I want to use mauve, which is this mauve, this like mauve color, a little tighter in the crease, but still in the crease nonetheless. Changes it up a little bit, warms it up a little bit, you know. I haven't done a cut crease in a long time. Okay, and then I'm going to go with drama, which is a uh, deep purple. I'm taking mauve again to blend this out so that drama doesn't look so stark like just there you know all right this is drama again and this is my first time using this palette so hello I like it I almost gave it away but <laughs> I'm glad I used it <laughs> I actually like it I felt like the colors were too cool, but uh, hi, I like it. I always wipe off the brush when I just want to blend and don't want to add product. So if I'm using the same brush, but just want to blend, always put down a paper towel right in front of you. Now I'm going to take Whimsy again, just so I can make this more orange up here. And then to apply my eyelid color, I'm going to use this Luxe Soft Definer Brush. I actually stand corrected because there's a cream shader brush in here that you really could use for the brow. I didn't use it because I normally like to see the tip orange, but there's a cream shader brush in here. So if you do get it, use that for your brow to define the brow and then tell me how it works for you. I'm gonna use it to cut my crease. This is the P. Louise Rumor 2 Base. So let me use this to cut my crease. Let's see how I like it. All right, so I've used a lot of the eye brushes and this color on my inner eye is called Glam. I brought down the colors from the top. So the darker color is Drama and then the first lighter one is the color Whimsy. So the eyes, I've used so far the Lux Crease brush in my crease. I use the Brow Liner brush to line my eye. I use it for the top eyeliner as well. And then I use this Cream Shader 233 brush to apply the color. I actually use this to apply the cut crease, which was the Rumor to P. Louise cut crease 
Beauty's product and then the actual eye color. I used it for that and then I used the concealer buffer brush to apply the product right here in the crease because it's a bigger section. So when you're working with a bigger section, you want a bigger brush just to get it done faster. That's really what it's about. And then I use this detailed liner brush, which is 312 detailed liner brush to just clean up my cut crease. And then I use the smoky shader, which is 234. And I used that under my eye, which fits so well. So I've used a lot of these eye brushes in love with those. I use this powder brush to apply my powder, which Gosh, this brush feels so good. And then, oh, I also used this Petite Eye Blender brush, which is the number 223, and I used it to apply my inner color, which is glam. And now I'm gonna do my mascara, but before I do my mascara, I like to apply my highlight. I'm gonna use this CoverGirl True Blend Super Stunner Highlighter in the color Pearl Crush. Now what, okay, so I need a brush to do that. Let's see what brush I'm gonna use to do that. Let me come over here. We got, we got this Lux Highlight brush normally with my highlight I like to use a flat brush this one's a little pointed I think it'll still work so let's try it out take in a little because this stuff is very pigmented oh yeah that works hi and hello highlight what? oh yes Hello, a little above. Now for the, oh wait, I forgot the forehead. How could I do that? Let's get a little bit of forehead action going. Hello. And then in the middle of the nose, I normally would take my other brush and pinch it, but I'm gonna just use this soft definer brush. It's already in the shape that I need. And we're gonna go right down the middle of the nose. Softly, I'm not pushing this hard. I don't want it to be too hard. You know, it's showing. Hello, yes. You can make the tip of the nose a little more shiny. <laughs> So there's that. And then I'm going to use, this is a blush brush, mm -mm, sheer cheek brush. You're too small, you're too small. Nope, I don't know whose cheek is that small. I need to cover a lot of area, a lot of ground. So I'm going to use this because I don't use the same brush to do two different things. And that fluffy brush is really, good, really, really for the whole face, not for a small area like the cheeks. So I'm gonna use this brush right here. This is the Face Definer 101 brush. Ooh, this is a new palette that I'm trying black owned brand blush kit. This is from Kike Cosmetics. Ooh, a little bit of that going. Hello. Summer, how are you? Yes. Ooh. Yeah. Hello. Okay. Wonderful. The two that soldiers watched in vain was borrowed for three days. All right, now for the lip, I'm gonna put on this Vented Night Lip Pencil. Love these lip pencils. When then a new lipstick that I got when I was out at Walmart is this NYX Shout Loud Satin Lipstick in the color a la mode. So I'm putting this right here in the middle. Oh, it's lighter than I thought. Okay, uh, I thought it was gonna be like something else. <laughs> oh, I thought it would be a little bit darker. It's very like chalky right now. <laughs> Wasn't really what I was going for right now. Um, add some more lip, it smells good. Okay, so I'm gonna put some more night might get this like caramel undertone to it. So nice. Add some more of this to help get her together. Yeah. I wanted to put a gloss on top. I can still put the gloss on top, right? Like a little glossy situation. This lipstick is satin, so it does have a sheen to it. I don't know, I just feel like it, who cares? Two nightstand, Too Faced Cosmetics, lip gloss. All right, yeah, the gloss kinda took it up a notch. Oh, ooh, let me blot the inner part of my lip. I don't wanna be looking stupid. <laughs> Ooh, okay, so here's the finished look. What do you think using Amazon brushes, girl? How are we feeling? How are we looking? I want you to comment, give the video a thumbs up and let me know if you liked it, loved it, hated it. These are the brushes that I did not end up using only because I didn't need to. So I'm gonna go through them. So the eye brush, the 226, I definitely can use. It's a smudger brush. You can smudge on the eye, just extra. You've got a petite crease brush for sure. This one you can use in the crease, you can use in the inner eye, definitely can use that. Lux pencil, this I could have used in my inner corner if I needed to, so this is a good extra brush. Another smudger brush, it's called a detailed shader, 237, but it definitely can be used under the eye or to smudge out your eyeliner. And this is a winged liner brush. I barely do winged liner, but of course this can be used as a winged liner brush. You can use it to do your eyeliner. I used an eyeshadow as an eyeliner, so you certainly can use that. And then now, oh, one more. 
more face brush. This one is a soft crease brush. Ooh, why didn't I, I didn't notice this. I could have used this instead of, oh, this is a two, two, one. Okay, I just, I wasn't familiar with the set, so I just didn't notice it. But I could have used that in my crease instead of this concealer buffer brush, but it still worked out, so it's all good. But this is a good brush for the crease. Yes, I didn't notice it, I'm so annoyed. Then we have this face shape brush. This is like a nice flat kabuki. Like a bigger version of this is what I was using before for my face. This can be used to blend out your concealer. If you don't do a sponge and you like to do a brush, you can do that. Or it can just like smudge out any harsh lines if necessary. Then we've got this sheer cheek brush, which I don't use. I never use these brushes for my cheeks. They're way too small. Like who has cheeks this small? You could use this for your highlighter if you wanted to or to blend out um, any harsh lines or just don't use it. You don't have to use every brush in every set that you buy. You'll see that. It's like how you get an eyeshadow palette. You're not gonna use every color in the palette. See, I never do. This is a defined buffer brush. So this can be used if you, let's say your other buffer brush that you use for your foundation, if you use this, if you don't use a sponge, let's say this one's dirty or whatever, you can't find it. This can be used for foundation. It's angled, so it's cute. It's small, but so it'll take you some time to get around, but you can definitely use this to blend out your foundation. And these two brushes, I don't see myself using. Like I won't use these, I don't know. They're just like random. This is a petite stippling brush and this is a luxe face paint. I don't know what we painting, you know? So these are the two brushes in this stack that I don't see any usage for. But out of 25 brushes, 23 of them are useful. I think it's a good win. I think it's a win. Not to mention they're white and pink. How beautiful. Now, I was a little, I was a little reluctant because a lot of the brushes are white and I have these wet and wild brushes that I bought a while ago that are just so cute and I refuse to use because I'm like, they're white, they're beautiful. If I can get makeup on them, how am I gonna get it off, you know? But I just needed to try this set out for you. Some of them have the brown top, some of them have the white top. I like it a lot. Again, I want you to comment and let me know what you think. If you like it, love it. What do you think about this look? The brushes. Do you have brushes that you use that you're confident in? Do you feel like you're going to buy this set because you just don't have the set that you need? I hope that this video was helpful for you to walk you through how I was using the brushes so that if you do want to get them, you can use my link below. And then you can actually just go back and watch this video and see where I used what. But I'm going to have these in the rotation. I'm going to have them in the rotation. I do have a lot of other brushes. You will see me using those because I have a lot of options. But I'm happy to have finally found a brush set that you can use as a beginner. So you are not having to run around and get this shader, this Morphe, this Tarte, this is just too much, you know? So I hope this was helpful. Comment and let me know. And I'm glad that you're here. And I thank you for watching. Bye.